Hello everyone. I am Professor P. S. Goswami from Department of Electrical Engineering. In this session, we have to cover topic: introduction of electrical grid, introduction of smart grid, need of smart grid, difference between electrical grid and smart grid, and its challenges. today first of all let us understand what is the meaning of electrical engineering grid the moment we talk about electrical grid it means electrical grid is a network of synchronized power providers and consumer distribution lines and operated by one or more control center big said that now you can see the view of of energy grid or electrical grid we do have generation stations generation stations transmission line substations step down transformer and connected across different types of loads the generating station which is idly transfer its energy through either eh ac lines or hvdc lines now we have discuss about the smart grid uh, advanced electric city generation uh, delivery and consumption advanced information metering monitoring and management in this balancing supply and demand the stability and supply effective use of renewables uh, and its in this components are used sensors smart meters wireless communication artificial intelligence a uh, need of smart grid the need of the need for a smart grid is increasingly recognized as policy maker at all levels of government look for ways to improve the energy of prod producing and using electricity in our homes business and public institutions a smart grid is a holistic solution that employs a broad range of information technology resources allowing existing and new gridness to reduce electricity waste and energy cost next comparison between conventional grid and smart grid on the right side conventional grid and on the left side is smart grid we can see that there will be few large plants for a generation of electricity first and but now there many small powers produce producer generating station like solar wind etc this is the first difference next centralized mostly nation, nation this system is in to be center but now it is a not centralized it is a decentralized so because of in case of any failure the power will be not cut off whole area but there will be other options of and other power and supply maintenance maintain next based on a large power lines and pipelines but now including small scale transmission and regional supply compensation next next is top to bottom one way communication so the distribution is the power generation to be consumer but in a smart grid there will be in a bidirectional direction work flow next in this you are paying only bills but in a smart grid you are active and you are participating in the system you are taking power and as well as you are feeding the 
power and you are you are also storing the power next next now we discuss about the diagram of smart grid is we can see many of the power generation like wind like wind solar and hydraulic nuclear etc basically we can see here that the generation is not a centralized it is a decentralized do you have a lot of option and location are very much different in case of any failure in case of a big plant failure still you can manage the supply by using the other generating options okay as we can know that the electrical vehicle is coming up to electrical vehicle is coming up to in the picture so demand of power is increased so important to power generate the power generated is used effectively next is challenges challenges first is old old infrastructure so what are the challenges are set up in the smart grid first is old infrastructure so basically i said earlier the in, infrastructure is a very old and like a 100 years old so it has monitoring and it is a avoid to big failures next is high investment all the con components of transmission and distribution like a substation and other equipment should monitoring all the sensors and electronic device device need to be used is a basically high investment next next is cyber attack as as all of the data as no user data is going to be online grid to be online so it will be subjected to cyber attack as it that it is handled remotely one can interface and hack this data and possibilities of crime and robbery etc now many people are working in the security of grid in a future we expect that good security which will save from cyber attacks thank you करते हैं ना बेटा 